Hey guys, uh, every year we seem to have um, a report that warns us that upcoming summer do you expect extreme heat hotter than last summer. And this year's no exception, except this article tells us how Melbourne and Sydney could experience 50 degree days. Wow. Climate change could sentence Melbourne and Sydney to 50 degrees days even if the world meets its Paris climate change targets, a new study warns. Other Australian cities are also on track for unprecedented extreme heat. A new study led by the Australian National University says, One of the hottest years on record globally in 2015 could be an average year by 2025. Okay, 2015. We'll keep that in mind. Now, these are the average temperatures and degrees. Going back to 1980, for the summer months, December, January, February. Now, first of all, we'll go up to 2015, and because uh, apparently that was one of the hottest in the world. So we'll look at December, 29.1, 26.9, 28, 30, 31, 30, 30, 30, 30. the average temperatures over those months, and overall 28 degrees is the average temperature over summer. That was uh, the highest on record, didn't they? Something like that. Uh, if we go up the uh, chart, 2007 had the same result. Why are they telling us that we could expect 50 degrees heat if the trend continues? What trend? If you look at the graphs, it's pretty, it's pretty standard. Like it's, if you average all that out, where there's nothing. There's no trend at all. In January, um, the month of January, it was more hotter around 2000. Year 2000 was hotter than what it has been in the last 17 years. February, it was way hotter in the close to the year 2000 than it's ever been since then. Where's the trend? Where is the trend that's getting hotter? If anything, getting colder. It's all bullshit. There's no climate change. This is the actual data. Bureau of Meteorology. And everything is staying average. Nothing's changing. They're all talking shit.